Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another indie brand review and swatch video for you guys. As you guys see from the title, it is another pigment because you guys know my obsession with pigments. This is the Alexa Persico Cosmetics. She, at the time when I purchased these, had only pigments, but she has since expanded her line. So I have some pigments here. I think I have all the ones that she currently owns and is still available for purchasing. Yeah, I think I have all 10 because she has 10 currently. Um, so I have the review here for you guys in swatches, but before I get into it, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it and let's get on with the review and swatches. So Alexa Persico Cosmetics is an indie brand. She first started out with these HD pigments and at the time when I purchased these, um, this was a good three years ago, she had a lot more colors and I'm so bummed out because she discontinued five colors and one of them was this bright turquoise color called Santorini love that one there's another one called cotton candy which was a beautiful pink one. Oh, i was so upset that she discontinued these i did reach out to her and ask her if they were definitely discontinued she did say yes but she also mentioned to me that she is working on new shades so currently in the line there are 10 shades they are mainly wearable everyday colors you got your deep browns your darker greens um your light colors which is I'm wearing her all-time bestseller on my eyes today. It was limited edition, but she made it permanent because so many people loved it. So that's the color that I did choose to wear on my eyes today. So these pigments, this is what they look like. This is her logo, and I'm, I'm hoping that this is her packaging because I haven't purchased any new ones because there aren't any new ones. I, I've owned them all basically. So I don't know if her packaging is any different from what I have, but this is the packaging that they came in when I purchased them. She does have liquid lipsticks and she also has collabed with a uh, Jessie Decker with a palette. It's a neutral palette that she came out with recently. It was uh, maybe a few months ago. So she also has that palette on her website if you're interested in something different. So these pigments, okay. These pigments are um, not matte. She doesn't have any matte ones in her line. All of them are, they're considered HD because they have this HD effect to them. And the only way I was able to showcase that on camera is I had to go outdoors and swatch all of these for you. So at the end of the video, you're gonna see videos of me recording the swatches on my phone outdoors so i'm sorry if it's not the best quality i'm hoping it is because i haven't really edited this video obviously editing alex let me know um but i did go outside so you guys can see the 3d effect of these because these like indoors right now it's on my eyes this one is uh which one do i have on my eyes this one this is the one no where'd you go oh it's up here this is the one that i'm wearing on my eyes today and in the pan, it looks like a normal pigment. And on my eyes right now, it looks like a normal pigment. But when you go outside and you shine the light on these suckers, you see like this glisten over them. They're absolutely stunning. Some of them have a silver effect. Some of them have a green effect. Some of them have like a blue purple effect. It depends on the actual pigment. You get a pigment and a glitter kind of mixed in one. So they are absolutely stunning. I love them. You have to see the swatches either on our website or at the end of this video to understand what I'm getting from these. But they're beautiful. These currently are $20. When I purchased these three to four years ago, they were $18. So since then, she has bumped them up $2, which is not bad. And you're probably like, $20 for a pigment, Alex, really? I'm going to put it into comparison for you in perspective so you guys can understand because yes, at the time I thought $18 was expensive for one of these pigments, but she always has deals going on. She'll send emails out if you're signed up to her newsletter, 15% off, 20% off, 10% off bundle. She has bundle sets. So if you're interested in that at a discounted price, she's always throwing something one year. I think I did haul this and I actually did in a worth it or worthless. She sent me one of her free four eyeshadow palettes, which I thought they're, her eyeshadow palettes in the quads are really good quality. So that's when she had first launched those. She also has those as well. I forgot to mention, but she has eyeshadow quads that you can pop out that are singles and those are amazing as well so she did a free gift with purchase so she'll do different things um to help you out so twenty dollars you may get some sort of discount with it if you wait for the right time but 
in each of these you get three grams of product that is an immense amount of product and if you're wondering well twenty dollars Alex and this is twenty dollars and this is three grams everyone goes bonkers over the Ingla eyeshadows he or Ingla pigments this is an Ingla pigment I have this is Alexa Persico one that I have now the Ingla one looks bigger the, the Alexa one doesn't the pigment from Ingla is twenty dollars some of them are eighteen some of them are twenty you only get two grams here. You're paying 20 for three grams. So when you think about it, you're getting a lot more in here for the same price as the Inglot one. Inglot, of course, has more of a variety. I own quite a few of, of them myself. Um, so you're getting more product in these. So I know it's a lot of money, but think about it that way. If you've spent the money on an Inglot eyeshadow or a pigment, these are not that far off. So obviously in the line, she does have 10 of them. Um, I've never had a problem with any of them uh, not applying well. Uh, I use either a glitter glue, I use either uh, wetting them, and that works perfectly fine. They last all day. None of them sit in, in between my lines of my eyes and make them look all weird and crepey. I don't get any of the fallout throughout the day. I really do enjoy these. I don't think I've heard many people talk about this indie brand, and she should get more recognition because she... She put a lot of time and effort into putting these pigments together and they're very, very beautiful. They've, again, pigments will last you forever. I've had these for a good three to four years in my collection and I have not even gone through one full jar of any of these. So if you're interested in checking her out, I will link her website down in the description box. Just take a look at her website. See the swatches on there. If mine aren't as great, I don't know. But take a look at them on there. She really does have good colors. And her colors are more wearable, everyday ones. I, it's a shame she discontinued the bright, colorful ones that I loved. But I'm crossing my fingers. The new ones she's coming out with will be like that. So I might end up purchasing those. Who knows? So now we are going to go to the swatches. I hope you guys enjoyed them. I will list all of the uh, pigments down in the description box as well as their names, as how I swatch them so you guys can see them as well. Thank you again for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.